Well, hello, all my RC people. You ever just have one of those didn't really plan on purchasing anything, but stuff just happens type of purchase? Because that's what we have here. Oh, you can see this is a Vanquish VS410 Phoenix Origin Black Edition. And I had no intentions of buying this, but my buddy James got a hold of me. And, you know, he's uh, I, I've dealt with him several times. There's, he's actually sent several vehicles to this channel when he's done with them. And he made me a price I couldn't refuse. So I saved up and got it. Uh, this is one he built from the kit. And I don't think he did too bad of a job as the first kit he ever built, he said. And it's got, uh, you know, the full scout body. I'll pull that off of there. Got a clone trooper driving. I'll probably end up changing that out. But uh, the whole back, he's got scale details in the back. That he's put in. And you know it's got the full interior. But he also well, well this kit also has light buckets, but no lights installed. I went ahead and ordered some lights so I can get those put in. And looks like I can open that right up and get in there and change some stuff around in the interior. But on to the the full vehicle. It looks like he has some uh, Voodoo's on there or some KLRM MT's on there. And they are the Vex Compound. Set of beadlock wheels. And this is the black edition, so this thing weighs a ton. It is a, it's a serious chunk here. And everything on it is anodized black. It has incision shocks, incision drive shafts. Everything's aluminum on it. This is a full, pretty much full metal chassis. Uh, curry axles, the offset differentials to line up with the transmission. This is a super cool kit. Uh, CNC bumpers. Now, for some reason, he didn't put the spacers in the shocks. So, you got that slop right there you can see it moving we'll do something about that but he has a power hobbies cordless servo in there it came with his big 5000 milliamp 30c smart battery and he has the mamba x castle i think it's like the crawl master i'm gonna have to get back a hold of him to see what the actual what actual name of that is so I can look it up and get everything programmed how I like it. But it it works as it is. And that's a that's a censored brushless motor and it can handle according to this ESC on the side up to 6S. So that's that's something else. Now I'm not gonna be running this big brick of a battery in uh, the, the EC5s. I'll probably switch that out to an XT60 just because that's what I like to run. Most of my batteries are already XT60s. But inner fenders and it also came with a Fly Sky FSGT3C, which I've already got three of these. This make number four. Uh, let's just turn her on. There we go. You can see those tires are catching on that bumper. I think they might be just a little bit large. Yeah, they're catching on the bumper there, and they catch on the rock sliders there. And it looks like he has marked these. He's scribed them like he started to cut off the rock sliders to match the tires, which I would have done too because pointy rock sliders, best just to keep them cut back at an angle away from the tires in, in my experience. But this does, uh, it seems to run fairly smooth. Really good modulation. A little bit of a wobble on that front end, but no big deal. That's top speed, which is probably more than enough. Let's see how the reverse does. 
Okay, so you can get a decently slow reverse so you don't go flying off a ledge like for some other reason all RC cars like to go in reverse so much faster. This take off a lot more punchy in reverse it seems. Maybe it's just the finger control because you're not used to holding backwards as much. But what a great vehicle. And this thing, as I said, I mean, it is an absolutely humongous chunk of metal here. So I'm going to get this thing out. I'll probably do maybe a little bit of tuning to it first. See if I can get some clearance. Maybe these bumpers can adjust out a little bit to get me a little bit more room there or something. I'll have to check and see. If not, I may either have to go... I may go to a smaller tire. I'm not sure yet. I do like these tires, but if they're going to rub, I may go a size just a little bit smaller. And he does have uh, spacers on it, too. It looks like... Man, those are probably like 20 millimeter spacers. So... Uh, I have to, I have to do some some checking around and see what I can do with it. But let's just uh, get it out on the crawler course and run it a little tiny bit and see how it does. Before we hit the course, I did make a couple of changes. I reran all the electronics because they were kind of all in different places. I moved it all over to this side so I could take all the tension off of this cord. Looks like it's been nicked. And I will be using that big battery. That thing looks like it's just meant to go inside my. Uh, rift so it's probably gonna go live there uh, i put the eyelets in no more clanky and i'm gonna put this uh 5200 ma 2s in there let's just go out and run the course it's kind of dreary but uh, it's probably the best day i got as good a section as any to start This is a new section I just put in. There was a log here and I replaced it with these two staggered bricks. And then I redid this section. Yeah, that definitely rubs hard there. That's almost hindering rubbing. Looks like the drag brake's not set either. And I redid the bridge section. So yeah, let go. Yeah, it just rolls backwards. So there is no drag brake set on that. Well, you see, I got the new bridge section. I raised it up quite a bit. Definitely gonna have to tune this. Yep, no drag brake whatsoever. That will not do, pig. That will not do. And that tire rubbing. Oh, I can't stand that sound. That's got to go away. <laughs> it rained last night, so stuff's extra slippery. <laughs> I don't know, those tires don't grab so good. You think they would be being voodoo or ot sixes. <laughs> that was a hard fought battle. I'm not even gonna attempt the other side. Alright, there's really no need to do much more. I think I've I've learned everything I need to learn and know what I need to do. We gotta figure out how to set up this ESC because it definitely needs to have its crawler settings put on. And I need to do something about these tires. There. Definitely not good when it's wet. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be able. Yeah, drag brake needs to go on there. Some tire stuff needs to happen, but <laughs> okay, that's the most impressive thing it's done. <laughs> that's awesome. But I'll let that roll down to here. I just got my finger on on the reverse a little bit to keep it from going backwards. But you know, a little bit of work. I think we're gonna have an op absolutely awesome rig. So I'll get to doing that stuff, and then you will see more of this thing because. I think it's going to be awesome once I get some work done. Thanks for watching, everybody. First look, first run, and I will catch you later.